Hey, what's up, guys? So, fellow YouTuber Feeding Wolves again uh, messaged me tonight, and she said that take a look at Xsense because apparently they refreshed their price. Now, I know I've talked about Xsense before in my videos because this is the suit that Code Miko uses. Now, a lot of people, she has a lot of fans and following, and this is what she uses. And before, it was really expensive to get it because the suit was expensive and the software was expensive, which had like a yearly uh, subscription for it. But today, they are releasing and announcing this Motion Cloud platform. So that's what we're going to take a look at. Uh, we're going to try and see what's going on with their pricing and stuff like that. Which I think this is going to make it affordable in a way. Um, but yeah, so without further ado, let's take a look. Uh, so you can see here, as far as the suit goes, I don't think the prices on the suit changed much. Um, this is in euros, so just keep that in mind. Uh, so we have... Uh, 10,575 would be 11 grand in US dollars. So I don't think the suit themselves changed. So for the animate is animation game development. That's what we're going to be taking a look at to configure so you can kind of see what's going on here. And this is how I'm interpreting this page by just looking at it and reading. Um, there's no video that came with it that I don't think. And I can go to movie, film, and production and I have one. It's just me. And I'm going to go offline for now. Okay, so we're just configuring a suit here. So this is what changed. Before, you would pick a suit, and then you would pick a software. So before, for the MVN link, this is what Code Miko uses. And then she would pick the Anime Plus or the Anime Pro for the software. All right. But as you can see, they also have the cloud processing now. So you're looking at 20 grand for the suit and the software before this change. But now... You can actually customize the software and the color processing, and this is where I think it's going to be a little bit more affordable, if you would. So let's say if I get the suit for 11000 I look at the basics, it's free. It's going to let me record MVN files, and it's going to let me upload the files to Xsense Motion Cloud. It's like everybody's going to cloud. If I go to the right, and I go look at the free, it's going to let me export in BVH, FBX. MVNX and XLS, but there is a 30 seconds processing per month, and this is where it gets kind of, kind of funny. All right, so take a look at this. So if we go cheap, like I always do, I would get a suit. I would get the free version. I'm gonna record it in this software, and then I'm gonna upload it to the cloud, where I'm gonna export the BVH or FBX animation. But if you look right here, it has this 30 seconds of processing per month. So let's take a look at the cloud. And like I said, this is how I am interpreting this and it would be good for the company to hopefully they can see this video and they can kind of see how a consumer are looking at this. Okay, at least me. So they're moving to the cloud pretty much. You can upload your animations up online and somebody else can download it. That's a really nice pipeline, especially with the pandemic. Somebody from here can download an animation somewhere. All right. All right, so that's what Motion Cloud is. Now, we're going to take a look at that configurator again. If I click this compare, it's going to bring this up. So there are three tiers for this. You get the free version, 250 and then 450 And the price is per month, looks like. So it's $275 per month for the tier one, and then tier two is $495, $500. But if you look here, Minutes exporting per month, and this is downloaded. And a question mark here, how many minutes of motion capture data you can download per month? Okay, so let me, let me see if this makes sense to you. I'm going to capture motion with my suit. If I'm grabbing the free one, I'm going to record it in, this, in the software, and I'm going to upload it to Xsense Motion Cloud for free. But... I have 30 seconds per month of motion capture data if I get the free version. That's how I'm interpreting this. Okay, 30 seconds per month. So what can you, what, what motion can you do that's 30 seconds long? Maybe I can pick my nose for 30 seconds. For that entire month, that's how much I can export. That's how I'm translating this. Maybe I'm translating this wrong, but you're telling me I'm going to record, use my suit, record it, upload it to the cloud, and then I can export it. 30 seconds a month. How many minutes of motion capture data? That's crazy. So if I go to the 250, that's 
30 minutes of data. Okay, so that's better. A tier one. And a t- tier two, an, an hour a month. Okay. So, in a way, this business model looks like, yes, they are making this suit more affordable by creating more options but if you think about the suit itself i think the suit itself stayed the same so if i go to the animate plus here which is 2750 per year if i was to do this i can record upload single actor simple live stream i don't let's click on that so the free okay got that Tw- so 2750 us dollars per year connect to the system all right, exporting available with Promotion Cloud. Here it is. Live streaming to Unity, Unreal, Autodesk, iClone. So those are good. So that's good. If I were to buy this system, I don't know how their streaming works, but I have streamed with my Axis Neuron before and it works. Fantastic. I would get a suit and I would get this. I would stream from the software to Unreal, record it, record the motion in Unreal. And I would call it a day. I wouldn't even worry about the cloud. Because this is the whole 30 seconds per month. 30 minutes per month. I guess it gives you more flexibility. But 30 seconds, man. I, I don't even know what you can do in 30 seconds of motion capture a month. You know, that's just me. So I think this is probably the best deal here. Because you can live stream to Unreal. Or if you want, you can go basic. And then you can go to exporting BVH of 30 minutes processing per month. That's not bad at all, but I'm not sure what simple live streaming. I don't know if that's limited or anything like that, but if that's unlimited, then for the price of 11k suit and the software for 2750 a year, that's your best bet. Um, if you look at the Pro, I think this was the original business pricing they had before this change was you get a suit and you pay nine grand per year you can export unlimited you can stream unlimited so this is like that's why i said when i was telling you guys about code miko was like she's probably paying like 20 grand for that or 30 grand depending on you know if she got the indie or whatever but yeah so in a way xsense is making it affordable to everyone but you just have to be careful on choosing the correct stuff because if i'm translating this correctly the suits stay the same it's just how you process the motion is really what changed so you want to learn unreal engine 4 but majority of the videos out there are for video game creations maybe i can help with that i just created a beginner's course on how to make a movie inside unreal engine 4. in an hour and 40 minutes i'm going to teach you how to install unreal engine 4 to create your very first cg animation unreal engine is the future And this video is the perfect introduction to it.